top 10 airlines that made electric and hydrogen-powered aircraft investments. Numerous airlines made strides toward reducing carbon emissions and investing in next-generation air transportation technologies. Several airlines, including Virgin Atlantic, GOL, and Japan Airlines, have pre-ordered electric vertical takeoff and landing, or VTOL, vehicles from the company Vertical Aerospace. So in this video, we will discuss the top 10 airlines that made electric and hydrogen-powered aircraft investments. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Number 10. JetBlue JetBlue Airways entered into a $1 billion agreement with bioenergy developer SG Preston to supply commercial flights with SAF at New York airports. Just two months earlier, JetBlue Airways announced a partnership with Joby Aviation and Signature Flight Support to create a system of aviation credits for the use of electric and hydrogen propulsion technologies. This system enables players in the aviation industry to quickly adopt sustainable energy sources and will accelerate the commercialization of electric and hydrogen technologies. JetBlue's target date for achieving net zero carbon emissions is 2040. The airline also signed an agreement this year to purchase blended SAF to supply 5% of its fuel needs at LAX. Number 9. Republic Airways Republic Airways, a regional carrier that operates flights for American Airlines, Delta Airlines, and United, a memorandum of understanding and letter of intent to purchase up to 200 of EVE's EVTOL aircraft. The strategic relationship will also focus on developing EVTOL infrastructure throughout the central and east coast markets of the United States, with an initial focus on the Boston, New York, and Washington, D.C. markets. Number 8. Virgin Atlantic Virgin Atlantic, a trading name of Virgin Atlantic Airways Limited and Virgin Atlantic International Limited, is an English airline with its head office in Crowley, England. Virgin Atlantic uses a mixed fleet of Airbus and Boeing wide-body aircraft and operates to destinations in North America, the Caribbean, Africa, the Middle East, and Asia from its main base at Heathrow and its secondary base at Manchester. Virgin Atlantic released a list describing the airline's goals toward achieving net zero carbon emissions by 2050. The company hopes to achieve a 15% net reduction in total CO2 emissions by 2030 through improvements to operational efficiency as well as sourcing 10% of fuel from SAF. It also set a goal to achieve a 40% net reduction in total CO2 emissions by 2040. Virgin Atlantic also has pre-order options for Vertical Aerospace's VAX4 EVTOL. Number 7. Connect Airlines Connect Airlines is a proposed American airline that intends to operate flights between Billy Bishop Toronto City Airport and Midwest and Northeast U.S. cities. Proposed service will fly between Toronto to and from Chicago and Philadelphia. Connect Airlines, the Boston-based charter airline launched by Waltzing Matilda Aviation, signed an LOI to purchase 24 of Universal Hydrogen's Green Hydrogen Conversion Kits. The order includes 12 total Dash 8300 kits and purchase rights for 12 additional kits of other aircraft types. The conversion kits consist of a hydrogen fuel cell powertrain compatible with Universal Hydrogen's modular capsule technology. For these aircraft, Universal Hydrogen targets installation of its conversion kits by 2025 and will subsequently supply green hydrogen fuel to the Connect Airlines fleet under a long-term agreement. Number 6. Iceland Air Iceland Air is the flag carrier airline of Iceland, with its corporate head office on the property of Reykjavik Airport in the capital of Reykjavik. It is the part of the Iceland Air Group and operates to destinations on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean from its main hub at Keflavik International Airport. Iceland Air, aiming to fully decarbonize its domestic network, signed an LOI with Universal Hydrogen in July to develop green hydrogen for fueling aircraft. Universal Hydrogen is a California-based startup developing a fuel distribution system in addition to an aftermarket hydrogen conversion kit, which could be utilized in Iceland Air's fleet of De Havilland Canada DHC-8200 aircraft. The LOI may expand in the future to include partnering in coordination with Icelandic hydrogen producers and airports. Iceland Air has also previously signed an LOI on a project with Hart Aerospace to accelerate decarbonization in regional air travel. Number 5. Widero, Norway 
Widerow's fly vessel is Cap AS, trading as Widerow, is a Norwegian airline and is the largest regional airline operating in the Nordic countries. The airline's fleet of 40 Bombardier Dash 8 aircraft and 3 Embraer E192 E2 aircraft serves over 40 domestic and international destinations. A partnership was announced between Norwegian airline Widero, Rolls-Royce, and Technim to launch a fully electric passenger aircraft for the Scandinavian consumer aircraft market. Norway has made a commitment to ensure that all domestic flights are zero emission by the year 2040. Widero Zero, the company's new air mobility business incubator division, entered into a new partnership with Embraer's Eve Urban Air Mobility in November to develop an EVTOL concept of operations and explore possible applications for the aircraft. Number 4. Japan Airlines, or JAL Japan Airlines Company Limited, also known as JAL or NICO, is an international airline and Japan's flag carrier and second largest airline as of 2021, headquartered in Shinagawa, Tokyo. JAL Group operations include scheduled and non-scheduled international and domestic passenger and cargo services to 220 destinations in 35 countries worldwide, including code shares. Japan Airlines acquired the rights to purchase up to 50 of Vertical Aerospace's VAX4 EVTOL aircraft in a recent partnership with Avalon. Signed in October, the agreement will identify partnerships, customers, infrastructure requirements, and certification in order to begin commercial EVTOL operations in Japan by 2025. The airline will collaborate with both Avalon and Vertical to assist in achieving certification for the VAX4. Number 3. GOL Brazil Golinhas Arias Inteligentes SA is a Brazilian low-cost airline based in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Gol operates a growing domestic and international scheduled network. Its main hubs are Sao Paulo, Guaralos International Airport, Rio de Janeiro, Galeo International Airport, and Tancredo Neves International Airport near Belo Horizonte. GOL shared plans to launch an electric air taxi network after acquiring 250 of Vertical Aerospace's VAX4 aircraft from Dublin-based aircraft leasing company Avalon. The network, which will operate in Sao Paulo, is planned for a mid-2025 launch date once the VAX4 EVTOL achieves civil aviation certification. Number 2. Alaska Airlines Alaska Airlines is a major American airline headquartered in SeaTac, Washington, within the Seattle metropolitan area. It is the sixth largest airline in North America when measured by fleet size, scheduled passengers carried, and the number of destinations served. Alaska Air Group, the parent company of Alaska Airlines, also announced a partnership with Zero Avia. The companies agreed to collaborate in the development of a hydrogen electric powertrain to fly a 76-seat regional aircraft. Earlier this year, Alaska Airlines committed to a five-step plan for achieving net-zero carbon emissions by 2040. The company also formed Alaska Star Ventures LLC in October, which serves to advance enabling technologies for electric aircraft. Number 1. United Airlines United Airlines, Inc. is a major American airline headquartered at the Willis Tower in Chicago, Illinois. United operates a large domestic and international route network spanning cities large and small across the United States and all six inhabited continents. United Airlines, which invested in electric aircraft startup Heart Aerospace, made an announcement in December about a new investment in Zero Avia, the hydrogen electric aircraft engine company. The agreement brings the total investment in Zero Avia up to $115 million, and it also includes a provision for United to purchase up to 100 of Zero Avia's hydrogen electric engines. This recent investment marks another step towards achieving United Airlines' goal of reducing its greenhouse gas emissions 100% by the year 2050 without depending on traditional carbon offsets. United also became one of the first major international carriers to announce a future EVTOL purchase investment agreement with Archer Aviation, the California-based startup that recently completed its first EVTOL hover flight test. That was all about the top 10 airlines that made electric and hydrogen power aircraft investments. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more videos like this, be sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button, and we will see you in the next video.